What's up guys, Robbie Dilts here, and today I'm going to be listing off the top 5 Funko Pops for the month of December in my opinion. Now before I do that, I just wanted to discuss what led to this video. I realized one of my most recent videos was a September, October, and November of 2019 top 5 announcements for Funko. But before I do my top 5 January Funko Pop announcements, I realized I don't have one for December yet. So, that's the reason for this video today, and let's get poppin'. Starting off the list at number 5. For the month of December, it was announced on December 3rd as one of the Hot Topic exclusives for the month. It is the Flocked Buckbeak from Harry Potter. Now, the reason why it just makes my top 5 is because I am a fan of Harry Potter and Buckbeak is a pretty interesting creature. And that's pretty much it. The detail, I mean, they did the best they can with it. So I'll give them the credit for that. It does look alright, in my opinion. Um, it's flocked. So, there's that. <laughs> but other than that, that's the reason why it just cracks my top five. Is One, I'm a Harry Potter fan. Two, I do like Buckbeak. So, that's why it has to make it into my top five for December. Now, for number four, it was announced on December 6th through the Funko app as part of the 12 Days of Christmas bundle. It is the Holiday Scooby-Doo. Now, I do like this pop. It's very detailed because Scooby is wrapped up in Christmas lights and has a Santa hat on, which I think is pretty cute. Uh, I grew up watching Scooby-Doo, so it does have some childhood connection and that is the reason why it has to make my top five list for December again I'm pretty sure that almost well I can't say everyone but I'm pretty sure a lot of people have watched Scooby-Doo so I'm pretty sure you'd agree that the holiday Scooby-Doo had to have made it in for December because what's not to love about Scooby wrapped up in Christmas lights and wearing a Santa hat? Coming in at number three, we are in the top three now for the Funko Pops of the month of December. This was announced December 8th, and it is the FYE exclusive Dwight Schrute as Hannibal from The Office. Now, I haven't finished watching this series yet on Netflix, but I remember this episode, and you could tell that this was definitely one of those moments from The Office. Uh, a scene, obviously, where Dwight was dressed up as Hannibal, and let's just say this. Funko has knocked it out of the park with The Office Pop so far, and I can't wait to see if they make more. I hope they do. Um, obviously I only have four Office Pops in my collection, and that is Michael Scott with the Best Boss mug, Pam Beasley, Kevin Malone with the Pot of Chili, and that iconic scene where he drops the chili, and also I have Daryl. So, four Office Pops so far. I hope to get more soon. I don't know if... This specific Dwight Funko Pop is one that I will have in my collection. Um, well, one, obviously, because FYE is across the border from where I am. I'm in Canada, and we don't have FYE here in Canada. So I don't think also that I would really want this one in my collection. There are other Dwight Funko Pops that I would definitely like to pick up, but... Dwight is Hannibal, not so much. The reason why it is in my top three, uh, it was a bit tricky to choose 
where I wanted to place my top three. But because of detail also, the top two uh, are very detailed. This one, it is detailed to the point where you know it's Dwight and you know that it's from a scene from The Office. But other than that, it doesn't crack the top two. Now coming in at number two, it was announced December 6th as part of the 12 Days of Christmas bundle. It is the original Icy Polar Bear. Now, like I said, the top two pops that I have listed are very detailed. And the reason why I chose the original Icy Polar Bear over the grape scented one, well, that's the thing. It's the fact that, why do you need a scented pop vinyl figure? I mean, yeah, I, I understand, I guess, if some people like scented pops. But also, if you're a inbox collector, and keep your pops in box, then you're probably not going to be smelling your pop vinyl figures. Also... Who smells their pop vinyl figures? That's a little bit weird. So, that's just my opinion. <laughs> I'm sure that I will get some comments saying like, Hey man, uh, scented pops are a cool new thing going on. But, I don't know. I don't really know. I like this pop. It's very detailed. Uh, obviously you see that it comes with the icy slurpy in its hand and also you know it's a polar bear uh, there's not much else I could really say that defines it besides it being very very detailed I like it but it doesn't beat the number one choice that I have for the month of December and we will get right into that and now for number one, it was announced December 16th as the Funko Shop exclusive item for that day. It was the two pack of the Looney Tunes characters Wile E. Coyote and Road Runner. Now, these pops are very, very detailed, and it makes it the number one choice for me for the month of December. Honestly, I grew up watching the Looney Tunes, and I loved the rivalry between the Roadrunner and the Wile E. Coyote and their antics. It was very funny to watch, and I mean, you can back me up on this. These pops do look very, very great. I think Funko knocked it out of the park with these two. And the fact that they made it a two-pack bundle, obviously you had to. You had to. Now, mind you, maybe Funko down the line will make uh, separate versions of Wile E. Coyote and Roadrunner as commons with, I don't know, let's say like Wile E. Coyote with like a stick of dynamite or something. I don't know. Like, they'll come up with something. Funko is smart. And... I know Funko will come out with more Looney Tunes characters in the future. Well, that's all the time I have for this video, guys. If you like this video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. If you're new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell beside it to be notified of when future content like this is uploaded. Leave me a comment of what your top 5 Funko Pops for the month of December was. And also, you can go back and watch my top 5 Funko Pops for the month of September, October, and November 2019, as well as my most recent video, which was a chase that I bought recently. And also, next time, my video will be the top 5 Funko Pops for the month of January, so stay tuned for that at the end of the month. Until next time, guys, keep on popping.